All right, so in this video, I just wanted to show a couple different ways to attain that uh, pitch down vocal. Um, it's popular in electronic music, some trap and stuff like that. It's just getting popular. So I have a basic loop here that I just made. It's a, just a kick and some hats. So this is all I'm going to use here for this. And we're going to bring in a vocal uh, just for time's sake. It's just going to be something really cheesy, so bear with me. So another quick tip is I just did it three times. <clears throat> you'll notice you'll want to do it three times as well. So uh, let's go back here, go to auto. I'm done recording. So let's hear this. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Shake that body. So let's make that. Shake that body. Do it right. Let's make that just a little bit louder with some more volume here. Uh, Fumbling around here in the new version here. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. So the reason, uh, moving on, that I did it three times <clears throat> is because any any good sounding vocals is going to have more than one take, and they're going to be layered on top of each other. So I'm going to bring in two more tracks, and we're going to call them dubs. So rename which I'm by, by renaming, I'm hovering over, I'm hitting Command R to rename this. So Command R, we'll call this Dub R. I'll hit Tab to drop down and we'll type Dub L. So that's gonna be representative of Dub Left and Dub Right. So we'll go back to Shake that music. body, shake that body, do it right, shake that. So we'll chop it right there. And now we know what to look for. So shake. There we go. There's the other one. So we'll chop it. And by chop it, I mean I'm hitting uh, Command E. Command E is going to split these right here. Uh, I believe you can go to Edit and somewhere in here too. If you're on Windows, split is what it's called. So Command E. It's probably Control E or something on Windows. So we got this chopped up. Let's bring this one down here. We'll line it up. We're gonna bring this one down here. We'll line that up. So now I have three individual, oopsie. I have three individual uh, tracks here. So now we're gonna pan this one. This one is ours. So we're gonna pan it almost all the way over to the right. We're gonna pull this one over to the left. So now essentially we've got three different vocals they're the same words, but they're different takes. Um, and we've layered them. So now I'm going to highlight the top one, highlight the bottom one. I'm going to hit Command G to throw them in a group. And now I have independent control over all their volume. So we'll just that body. shake that body. Do it right. So it's getting pretty shake good. that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Shake that body. Shake that body. So you can immediately hear the difference with, with uh, layering this up. And this is just a quick tip how I build all my vocals, at least you know a right, a left, or you know a couple dubs over it. So this is what it sounds like alone. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. My bad. My bad. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. So you can put both of them in there in that. Shake that body. Shake that just gives it a little bit more so <clears throat> let's get on to the pitch stuff what you came here for to see so I'm going to highlight everything and just to make this a little bit easier I am going to hit control J again now I have all individual blocks here so I can build it shake that body a lot easier shake that body do it right and then we want it to come in again I'm gonna hit command D command D is gonna duplicate these tracks and I'm just gonna arrow it over to where I want it so shake that body shake that body do it right all right so we have our loops let's highlight these again and with them all highlighted we're going to double click yep yep there we go highlight them all again 
<clears throat> hold down shift while you double click. So uh, yeah, if you highlight them all, hold down shift, double click, that's gonna bring up this panel here. <clears throat> We're gonna be able to envelope. So this is how I typically did this uh, back in the day. I would go to Complex Pro, shake that bot. You have your pitch right over here. You can pitch it down. Uh, my voice is higher, so I know that, you know, pitching it down to eight or something like that, <coughs> you're immediately going to hear the difference here. Shake that body. Sounds like crap, though. So we got to tweak the formats in the envelope to get it to get it to sound pretty good. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. So you take down the formats, you up the envelopes. Shake that body. And play around. Shake that body. Do it right. Sounds pretty cool. Shake that body. Shake that body. There we go. Shake that body. Do it right. So this sounds good. Um, I already have like a reverb set up on a send effect. You can send a reverb to it, make it sound a little bit better. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. And right here's my reverb. I kind of want to shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Echoes. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. So, I mean, that sounds pretty good. You know, shake that. I'm not a great singer, so you could use that, you know, a little bit more production on it. Maybe your voice is deeper. It comes out differently, you know. Each, each, shake that. each person, it's going to vary. So, shake that body. Shake that body. Do so, that sounds pretty good. I think it sounds good. I've used it in many tracks. Shake that body. You can play Shake around with the, with the pitch again. So <clears throat> that sounds pretty good. So let's go back here and we'll hold shift and we'll double click on it again. I'm going to just double click on the pitch and that's going to put it right back. I'm just going to put it right back to the complex. So we essentially have the original vocal back again. Shake, Shake that, that body. body. Shake, Shake that, that body. body. Do, Do it right. right. We'll take the vocals off. So this is... Uh, the the way that I do things now and you do have to have reason plus subscription <laughs> I used to have <clears throat> reason alone um, I don't like the way the the program kind of moves around it's just a little bit clunky once you once you get around in Ableton it's really hard to go to anything else so <clears throat> with that being said I love some things in reason uh, so I got the reason plus subscription which is basically puts uh, reason into a vst that you can use inside ableton so we'll go to reason studios and this is going to be just an effect that i'm going to put on this main track here so since it's an effect we're putting the <clears throat> the reason rack plugin effect on here it's going to boot up reason i'm going to be able to pick my favorite little guy, the Neptune Pitch Adjuster. <clears throat> so this is also, I'm not going to do anything on auto-tune and stuff like that, but this does have the capability of getting that auto-tune sound through the transpose format. You have a lot of you know different stuff here. So uh, let's just say we're working in <clears throat> minor key. Um, this isn't going to matter as much to get your, your results that you're looking for. We'll, we'll just go G minor. <clears throat> Uh, let's go back to let's get rid of that let's go back to our vocal and listen to it here shake so, that body so shake the same premise so now we're just going to transpose this and we're going to go down we're going to start where we started last time we'll start at eight um, and then this format knob we're going to turn that on and we're actually going to play around with that too so here's here's the results from that Shake that body. So same thing with the envelopes and stuff on, on the other way that we were doing it through Ableton. So we're going to mess with the format and get it to sound better. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Sounds pretty good. We'll add in the effects. And Ableton does this well. I just prefer to do it in here. I think you have a little bit more adjustments in here. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I usually put this uh, low frequency, wide vibrato, live mode. I usually just have those on. 
Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Shake that body. So essentially, I mean, you not this you know sounds pretty familiar. A lot of tracks have this kind of style. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Shake that body. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. So sounds pretty good. We'll hear just one of them. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Shake that body. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. Sounds pretty cool. Shake that body. Shake that body. Do it right. So yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I just wanted to show two two different ways on how you can accomplish pitching down. Um, one in Reason, one in Ableton. Um, they both almost have the same effect, but uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this video. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, hit me up in the comments if you have any other questions about this. Later.